All right, here we're going to look at an example of finding the volume of a parallel pipette that's formed by three vectors. So we have the vectors negative 1, comma 3, comma 1, uh, the vector 4, 1, 0, and then our other vector will be 0, comma 2, comma 1. Well, uh, to compute the volume of this parallel pipette, the way that we can get the volume is we're going to use the formula. So we're going to take uh, vector A and we're going to dot that with the cross, product, the cross product of B and C. And again, we'll just find the magnitude of, uh, of all of this. So the first thing I'm going to do is compute uh, B cross C. So I, J, K. Again, okay, so let's see. Uh, B has components 4, 1, 0. Uh, C has components 0, 2, and 1. So let's see. When we cover up the I column, we have 1, 0, 2, 1, minus the, uh, J, uh, the J component, or the uh, term involving J. So when we cover up J, we've got 4, 0, 0, 1, 4, 0, 0, 1. And then the stuff that goes with the K component. So we'll have 4, 1, 0, 2. So let's see. When we simplify, we'll have 1 times 1 minus 2 times 0. Well, that's 1 minus 0, or 1i. Minus, we'll have 4 uh, minus 0. So we'll have 4j. 4 times 2 is 8 minus 0k. So it looks like uh, B cross C, that just has uh, components 1, negative 4, and 8. All right, so what we have to do next is simply dot this with our vector A. So let's see, again, vector A, that has uh, components negative 1, comma 3, comma 1. We're going to dot this with the cross product which we said has components 1, comma, negative 4, comma, 8. All right, so we can do this. Uh, so negative 1 times 1 will be negative 1. We'll add 3 times negative 4, which is negative 12. And then we'll add uh, 1 times 8, which is going to be 8. So it looks like we get a negative 1 plus negative 12, which is negative 13, plus 8. That's going to leave us with the value negative 5. And the last thing we have to do is, well, we take, uh, so again, we've now figured out the expression that goes inside. So it says the volume is going to equal uh, the magnitude, or you can think about it really as almost being like an absolute value of negative 5. That's just going to leave us with positive 5, and that will be our solution.